Hello and welcome back, uh, Gamers Need Christ. Uh, this is Grillenheimer. Now, uh, I <clears throat> was heard last night on somebody's uh, video here on YouTube about Asbury and what's going on. And I'll put the link down below. I've got the link to, to his video. Uh, and he's got a portion of the principal of the university saying what he was saying. He was very appreciative of this revival or, or awakening um, or renewing of the spirit. And it, they let it go two weeks, but the little town just can't handle it. Uh, apparently from the traffic to the, the noise to everything. Um, I forgot the name of the little town that it's actually in. Um, Wilford, Wilmore, something like that. But, and so they're, they're still kind of going on, but it's, it's going to be limited to the students and it's not open to the public anymore, which is fine, which is almost secondary, is that a word, is moving this movement to you, moving this revival and keeping it going. Uh, and we can keep this going. A lot of other universities are ha, have piggybacked on this. And, and we expect a lot more universities to follow suit. Um, probably starting with Christian universities and hopefully uh, go, moving in into public universities as well. Uh, you know, in, in the collegiate lifestyle. So we'll see. But all this begins with you. This begins with reading our Bible and reading the Word and praying to Him. Um, because He's not relegated to just Asbury University. He is always with you. All, if, if, if you need God, if you want God, just pray to Him. He will listen. He's everywhere. He's all where. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, spend time with the Bible. Spend time praying and praying with your family. Spend time worshiping Him, worshiping Him it, with a church family. Find a good church if you're not already a part of one, uh, to, uh, you know, and take your family with you. Um, <clears throat> be sanctified Him, but be sanctified through Jesus, by Jesus, be sanctified by the truth. Um, you know, that, and, and remember, this isn't exactly re a religion. Jesus was against religion. He was against traditional religion and what the Pharisees were teaching. This is a relationship between you and him. And growing that relationship and growing your walk with Christ. Um in un understanding that we all fall short of the glory of God, that we that this is why we need Jesus in our life. This is why we need to follow Him and attempt to live in His perfection, because He was perfect and we are not. Uh, and as much as we strive to be like Him and as perfect as Him, we're always going to fall short. Uh, because we just, because we, we live in the fallen world. Our spirits are relegated to our bodies. Um, and, and we are, you know, can try, try to walk in his path with him, with him in your, in his, in your yoke or his yoke. Uh, and we had that conversation at church this, this past Sunday, because what is the yoke? Well, it's this wooden thing that connects two horses or two cattle or two oxen. Uh, and normally you will have an older animal yoked to a younger animal, more or less an experienced. And the older one is going to teach the other one how the master is, you know, wa wanting to go, when to stop, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. And, and I forgot what passage that was from. I, I was not really going to mention that, but it it falls in into uh, it makes sense in 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 this regard because 
Jesus, you know, mentions this in the Bible. I want to say it's in Matthew. Um, so look that up. And and so when he's talking about a yoke, he doesn't. He's not talking about egg whites uh, or anything like that. He's he's talking about being yoked with him, uh, just like you know the, the, all the silly, you know, Jesus is my co-pilot. No, he needs to be your pilot. Okay, you need to let him be in control because he is always in control. Um, now, remember that we can't be perfect for he died for us. So we can strive for perfection. We're always going to fall. We're always going to sin because we live in a sinful world because we broke it ourselves. Because, I mean, we can put all the blame on Eve we want, but both Adam and Eve both ate from the from the tree of life and both did what they were not supposed to do because you can tell a kid don't run don't run don't run what are they going to do they're going to run whatever you tell them not to do they're going to do um and you got to say things kind of backwards to be able to, to even then they're probably still not going to do what you're asking them to do um because that's our nature um and so, so I'll leave you with this, is that just as John was constantly wrote in, in, his, in his gospel, it's just to believe. Believe in him. Believe in Jesus. Believe he is the word of the Lord. Believe that he is the life. That he is, but believe that he died for us. That his resurrection really happened and that he is alive today so that we can walk with him that we so we can be with his spirit so he can abide with us so we can abide with him and you can experience his love because God's God is love his love came first. Then he created us for him to love us. And he gave us the will for us to love him back and to love those around us as well. Um, and so we, you know, the public worshiping Worship at Asbury may be over, but I think the principal did a very good job in wording how what needed to be done because that small community can't take that many people, um, you know, that many people. And, and he was trying to let people know if you're on your way. You know, turn around. We, we can't take any more people. We're not letting anybody back into, in, into this chapel of our university here. Um, and he was putting it nicely. He did it very diplomatically. Um, so th things to think about, things to look forward to. And remember, do it with your family. Do it with your church. Revival is everywhere. This is, and, and as many people, commentators are talking about this, this is more of a way, an awakening, a renewing of our spirit because we know we need Him. Um, so I just wanted to mention this update as well because, and I'm sure the, the handful of followers that I have on this side of my channel, um, are listening to everything else. I'm sure you are. And I appreciate you coming here and checking me out here. So, it's coming. It's here. Uh, we just need to keep this momentum going uh, for those that will listen. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Praise be to God. And always pray. And remember, he is Lord. So we'll see you next time. More to come. Amen.